Before I go on this rant, I just want to be very clear that I'm super grateful for my life because I know that this is going to get on the wrong side of TikTok probably. I'm super grateful for my life and I know that a lot of us are in a better place um, compared to so many people that are suffering in the world right now. But doesn't mean that as a Canadian citizen, I don't have a right to speak on how we live. Let me start off by saying, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but home insurance and car insurance has gone up because of how many because of how many break-ins there's been and how many cars have been stolen. And these people are obviously targeting more successful areas because they feel like those people have much less to lose than them going to an area where people have less, no Rolexes, no purses, um, not expensive cars that they can get for money. Like they're not gonna go and steal a Honda which is completely wrong, but obviously we knew that this was gonna happen because they're completely trying to get rid of the middle class. If you guys have been following me for a long time, I've been saying this for a very long time. And then on top of that, we pay our taxes, but we get absolutely nothing out of it. People call the police. It takes them 11 minutes to pick up the phone. Then it takes them another 15 minutes to get to the place. By then, God knows what could happen to those people that are getting robbed. And then, you know, we look at our healthcare system and I have to book an appointment with my doctor three weeks in advance, but what if I get sick a day before? Then I have to wait three weeks to see a doctor. When I moved from my pediatrician to my family physician when I was 18 years old, I've probably seen my doctor four times. I get treated at walk-ins that have short lines and I go to emergency at the hospital. Two years ago, I got really sick. No one knew what was wrong with me. I had chronic migraines. They wanted me to wait three months for, a, for an MRI. No one can figure out what was wrong with me. Then we have our housing market, the worst housing market. Nothing is affordable. High interest rates, high prices, no inventory. Landlords declining everyone because they only make 60 to 80 grand a year. The quality of life in Canada has gone down so much in the last six years. Every person, every client, anyone that I'm speaking to is in shambles right now. I don't know about you guys, but everyone is worried. Everyone's trying to save for a rainy day, but the rainy day has been over a year. Our political party is so concerned right now with having 12 year olds being able to express themselves as cats over fixing the economy. They are doing nothing to fix the problems in this country. Absolutely nothing. And before you come at me and tell me that if inflation has gone down, I don't fucking feel it. I do not feel it. I don't feel it when I grocery shop. I don't feel it when I fill up gas. I don't feel it when I go buy something. I swear, like two weeks ago, I went to Indigo, a plastic glass cup that you can get for a dollar at the dollar store was like $70. Something needs to be done. And something needs to be done. I mean, fantastic. <laughs> ah, this is my pretty, pretty Obruni. Fine girl. She's very pretty. My sister, I'm sorry. I cannot relate to anything you are saying. <laughs> I'm very, very sorry. I try to feel your pain. But the pain I'm feeling. Your pain is on the, let's say the pain scale is 1 to 10. Your pain is on 3. Me, I'm already feeling 12. Me and my African people. We're already feeling 12. So if you are complaining that you are feeling 3, we were already feeling 12 out of 10. We'd already pass the scale. You understand? So we cannot relate with what you are saying. So you call police. Police come in 26 minutes. You call for 11. Police come in 15. And you are online complaining. Hi. You know why I thank God? Because she said she knows say she should be grateful for her life. <laughs> Police come in 26 minutes. 26 minutes. Let me tell you, in my life, in my 30 something years on this planet, I've been in this my country. I never call police once. May police come. <laughs> police know they come. If not, if they are robbing you, they will rob and go. Police will come two days later. <laughs> they will come and take statements. Then they will call one boy, you. 
your face will be like thief. <laughs> you, the way you are parading this neighborhood. Arrest everybody. Just pack boys randomly. Take them to, to police station. When they get there, they say they should call their family to come and build them. <laughs> A crime scene is where police, our police see to come and make money. <laughs> Maybe they are fighting in this place. They call police. Police will come later. After the thing have died down, they come and raid. They will just come and raid. Raid everybody. <laughs> Pack them to police station. They say, call your family. They should come and pay bill. They will come and be paying bill. So if your police come in 26 minutes, my sister, go and give thanksgiving in church. <laughs> go and ask, oh, are we Africans what we face in our country? Go and ask. They even give you MRI. You are complaining. They give you MRI. You they sick. Let me tell you, in Nigeria, we sick. Na chemist. <laughs> pharmacy. Our pharmacists are now doctors. <laughs> now then go write prescription for us. They say, hey, what did they do you? Be like saying malaria or a typhoid. They don't even know the symptoms. They guess. You they get headache. Mm -hmm. You they shake. Cold day. Mm -hmm. Now malaria. <laughs> now malaria will do you. Take this one. Take this antibiotic. Go home. One morning, one night. Take this malaria drug. <laughs> Everything we seek is malaria. Every time you go there. We don't... All our doctors have traveled. They have all relocated to Europe and Canada. So why are you people still complaining to us? Why are you complaining to us? <laughs> You are taking our doctors, taking our nurse, taking uh, resources, and you are still complaining to us. Is it fair? Is it fair? No, tell me. Is it fair that I can still sit here and hear you, a Canadian citizen, complain? <laughs> Come and see what we are facing in our continent. You say food cost. Food cost. Go to Kenya. Go to Kenya, go and see what one tomato. You can go and see what tomato is in Kenya. <laughs> Come to Nigeria. Come and see what ba uh, rice is in, in Nigeria. <laughs> you say real estate. Where is real estate not cost? Where is real estate? Come and see what rent is saying in, in, in Lagos. Come and see what rent is saying in Lagos now. Come and see what food is saying here. My sister sometimes say, you don't know what you got till it's gone. You don't know what you've got till it's gone. There's a reason why Africans are trooping Canada and they are still seeing it as heaven. <laughs> because here, they don't give us firewood. Our governments don't give us firewood to go start our own hellfire. <laughs> now we, they stoke our hellfire. Our Jahannam. Now we, they stoke them. We, they find our Jahannam. And we, we, are, we, are, we keep it going. We don't complain. Keep it going, my sister. Mm-hmm. You, are, you count yourself lucky. Trudeau. Go and thank Trudeau for your life. Thank him. Shake his hand and say, Oh, God, you they try. <laughs> oh, God, you they try. Police, they come. You have health care. They say they give you MRI. You have uh, security. You still get food. You get electricity. Sometimes, four days, I know they see electricity for my house. If not for the solar that I use, I will not be able to shoot videos. Some people, their eyes have turned to this thing because they are now seen in the dark like cockroaches. <laughs> because no fuel to run generator, no light. You better be thankful for everything you have. Be thankful. Go on your knees and thank your president. Your president is Igwe. Go and see what's come and see what Tinubu is doing here. They are sharing money. Go to Kenya and see what Ruto is doing there. I mean, you go to Ghana, go and check what their president is doing. Go to South Africa. See what the, 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 their leader is doing. Come to Africa. The whole of Africa. Now one, one ship carry us. We are inside one ship going towards Jahannam. You are coming to complain to us. My, my sister, we don't want to hear because, because pack, 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 pack one side. <laughs> Thank you. You are a fine girl, but please don't complain to us. Thank you. Hey, where are you going? I begin to think you are among my village people. Truth. You are among my village people. You don't want me to blow. You have not subscribed. 
you have not clicked notification bell so that every time i post two uh, video you will get it in fact today i'm posting two videos yes today like this i'm posting two videos so so subscribe click notification bell don't go anywhere don't go anywhere <laughs> you see this one here this one is to watch my other videos this one is to watch the last video i posted and this one is to subscribe <laughs> oh, oh, quickly don't go anywhere <laughs>